Well, it's Weather Wednesday, a time when we get to talk about the weather together a little more in depth. And of course, this week we've been concentrating on the 20 year marker since Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast, still the most destructive storm in US history. Today, the potential for an even worse hurricane, though, is higher than ever. Our oceans getting much hotter over the last two decades due to climate change, allowing hurricanes, even as recently as Hurricane Aaron, to become powerful Category 5 storms overnight. Here's NBC's meteorologist, Chase Caden. In just this small area of about five or six city blocks, there are right now about 19 or 20 deaths in just that small area. That's me as a young reporter covering the most destructive hurricane in U.S. history. Katrina caused more than 200 billion in damage and killed nearly 1,400 people. And in the two decades since, our oceans have gotten even hotter as a result of burning oil and gas. This illustration shows how fast ocean temperatures are rising, nearly a full degree hotter since 2005, which is a big deal because heat is what fuels hurricanes. And unfortunately, yes, there is more of that jet fuel that these systems, tropical cyclones, can tap into and lead to rapid intensification. When a storm's winds increase 35 miles an hour in less than 24 hours, that's rapid intensification. And that's happening more often. But so is an even newer term, extreme rapid intensification. But look at what Milton did, 92 mile an hour increase. And that is one of the hallmark signatures of what climate change is doing to hurricanes, Hallie. Well, Climate Central analysis found that since Hurricane Katrina, extreme rapid intensification is happening nearly 50% more often. And if that intensification occurs near land, it basically cuts off any lead time and leads, a community, leads to a community being, in many cases, unprepared. And that's why investment in hurricane research are so important, helping forecasters at the National Hurricane Center keep pace with how an overheating planet makes storms more intense and wetter, too. Every hurricane contains more moisture than it would have without climate change, and that means the rainfall associated is in every case stronger than it would have been. And so the flood damage from hurricanes is larger because of climate change. Numerous studies show that link. Researchers found Hurricane Helene dumped 10% more rain because of climate change, 18% more rain from Hurricane Ian, and up to 36% more rain during Hurricane Harvey, likely flooding twice as many homes because of climate change. And looking back to Katrina, Climate Central found the water which fueled the storm was, even at the time, five times more likely to be that hot because of climate change. Fast forward to today, and the Gulf is even hotter. Folks need to realize that the 21st century climate and the type of weather extremes that we're seeing in the 21st century climate are nothing like we've lived through before. People need to be ready for these extremes and think more often than not that if there's a chance for something bad happening, yeah, it's a much bigger chance than it was in the 20th century. And for an even deeper dive into how climate change is cranking up the dial on hurricanes, check out episode two of our new series, Predictable, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. I'm NBC meteorologist Chase Kane.